Okay, we installed this about a year ago, last year. Uh, it's it's almost one year service time, and just to check it out, make sure the customer has been maintaining it. We've taught the customer to come out and vacuum the back of this. Use a shop vac with the bristle brush on the end, where you have those fine brushes, and just every three or four months, come back here and clean. And as you can see, it's very nice. Uh, okay this is what if you have a technician come out to your place and service a unit and he breaks out a set of gauges and he wants to take the unit and tap into the gauges and tap into your unit and read pressures you fire him immediately you delete his phone number and call somebody else there is never a reason to hook up a set of gauges and open up this refrigerant system possibly exposing it to contamination that's inside his gauges Releasing some of the refrigerant into his gauges and, and you'll be shy if you do this. These are very crucial crucially charged down to the ounce real crucial uh, Every information a guy with a set of gauges could possibly want is located in the software uh, Your high pressure your low pressure your superheat your subcooling. There's a temperature sensor on inlet pipe outlet pipe of every head that you have installed there's temperature sensors in here on the inlet and the outlet of the compressor the oil temperature your superheat and subcooling doesn't only happen here it happens inside at the heads at every one of your units we have this system driving really hard right now we have like 30,000 BTUs a heat load in one room and another 20 or so in the other room. So this thing is screaming balls to the walls right now. Uh, Redfish with the power meter on it. This is also Bluetooth. So you can actually read, uh, what do we have right now? I have a data recording right now. Okay, right now I just happen to have the field piece hooked up just for my own observation, but this will tell you absolutely nothing. That was just for me. Uh... Connecting, let's reconnect. So this is going to the field piece. Connect, or no, this is going to the red link amp meter. So we were data logging, uh, but I disconnected because I was playing with things. So everything that's going there can be data logged and recorded right here. So we know we're at 230 volts and we know we have this thing driving really hard we have it maxed out like in test mode to get all we can out of it and uh, intentionally so we know we're drawing uh, well, we got 21 amps and usually this thing only cruises at 12 but we're pedal to the middle and I'm talking in a soft tone of voice and I'm standing within arm's length of the compressor and the fans. Can you hear those fans? No, you can't. And neither does the person's bedroom there, or a bedroom there, or the bedroom up there. And uh, if you want a very quiet unit, this is the unit to get. And this is the commercial unit. This is not the normal residential unit. This one is actually, here's the model number. These things are absolutely killer. They're the quietest unit under normal operation when we come out to them. We don't know they're running. When we first hooked up our first one, we literally had to put our ear and our hand up to the unit when it was under a load, low load because we did not think it was actually running. And so uh, these units here, I gotta give a thumbs up. It's one of the best units I've ever worked on. And you also could get them in the option to do heating and cooling at the same time, doing a heat recovery. If you had a thing where the top of your two or three story building was soaked with the sun, south side exposure, it's overheating, but you had another room down in the basement on the shady side of the building and it needed heat, instead of using more electricity to heat that room, it takes the waste gas and transfers it over to the air coil in the room downstairs where it needs heating without using more electricity. That's another big advantage of these units. So just remember, somebody comes out to check your unit, 
they break out a set of gauges because they want to check the charge and the pressures, fire them immediately. That's all I got to say about that.